Pierre-Joseph Redoute, a renowned painter and botanist, hailed from Belgium. He was born in 1759 and is best known for his exquisite watercolor paintings of roses, lilies, and various other flowers. His exceptional talent earned him the nickname, the Raphael of Flowers, and he is widely regarded as the greatest botanical illustrator of all time. Throughout his career, Redoute served as an official court artist to Marie Antoinette and continued painting even during the tumultuous period of the French Revolution and Reign of Terror. Despite the political upheaval, he gained international recognition for his precise and detailed portrayals of plants, which remain as vibrant in the 21st century as when they were first created. Redoute's artistic skills were matched by his charming and affable personality, which endeared him to influential patrons. In addition to Queen Marie Antoinette, his patrons included Empress Josephine and Marie Louise, Duchess of Parma, both wives of Napoleon, as well as Maria Amalia of Naples and Sicily, the wife of Louis Philippe I, the last king of France. Redoute collaborated with leading botanists of his time and contributed to nearly 50 publications, depicting a wide range of flowers from the French court to those found in distant locations such as Japan, America, South Africa, and Australia. Unlike other botanical illustrators, Redoute worked directly from live plants, resulting in fresh and nuanced renderings. His era was marked by the publication of exceptional folio editions with colorful plates, and Redoute himself produced over 2,100 published plates featuring more than 1,800 different species, many of which had never been depicted before. Among the French botanical illustrators of the time, Redoute stands out as the one who continues to be remembered today. He is considered a significant successor to the tradition of Flemish and Dutch flower painters such as Bruegel, Royce, Van Heysem, and De Heem. Redoute's early life and artistic journey Redoute, born on July 10, 1759, in St. Hubert, Belgium, grew up in a family of painters. His father and grandfather were both painters, and his brother was also involved in the arts. At the age of 13, Redoute left home and embarked on a career as an itinerant painter, specializing in interior decoration, portraits, and religious commissions. In 1782, he moved to Paris to join his brother in painting scenery for theaters. The rise of Redoute as a botanical artist in Paris, Redoute's talent as a painter quickly gained recognition, particularly in the field of botanical art. He became known for his exquisite illustrations of flowers and plants, capturing their delicate details and vibrant colors. His works were highly sought after by botanists, horticulturists, and collectors. Redoute's skillful use of watercolors brought his botanical subjects to life, earning him the title of, the Raphael of Flowers. Redoute's legacy and influence Redoute's contributions to the field of botanical art were immense. His detailed and accurate illustrations not only showcased the beauty of plants, but also served as valuable references for scientific study. His works were widely published in botanical catalogues and books, and his reputation as a master botanical artist spread throughout Europe. Redoute's influence can still be seen today, as his art continues to inspire and captivate audiences with its timeless beauty. In conclusion, Pierre-Joseph Redoute, the renowned painter and botanist from Belgium, is widely regarded as the greatest botanical illustrator of all time. His exquisite watercolor paintings of flowers, including roses and lilies, earned him the nickname, the Raphael of Flowers. Redoute's exceptional talent and attention to detail allowed him to capture the delicate beauty of plants, making his illustrations highly sought after by botanists and collectors alike. Despite the political upheaval during the French Revolution, Redoute continued to create vibrant and precise portrayals of plants, solidifying his international recognition. His collaborations with leading botanists and his extensive contributions to botanical publications further cemented his legacy as a significant successor to the tradition of Flemish and Dutch flower painters. Today, Redoute's art continues to inspire and captivate audiences with its timeless beauty, serving as valuable references for scientific study and showcasing the enduring power of botanical illustration.